Hello everyone. I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop and I'm with you today to kick off our Oh Happy Day So Long for month three. So I've already recorded and posted to our YouTube channel months one and two where we worked through blocks one through six. And now we are starting month three where we are going to do blocks seven, eight, and nine using the Oh Happy Day quilt pattern. This is the quilt we're making. And this features the Oh Happy Day fabric collection by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake Designs. So today we are going to tackle block seven, eight, and nine, and let's start with block seven. We look at our fabric here. This is the fabric we're gonna need for block seven. You're gonna need your vanilla texture for the background of the block. And then you're gonna need your green diamonds, your yellow shoe fly, your red check, and your blue shoe fly. Now, if you remember from our last video, uh, the green diamonds and the green texture were called for in the pattern, but they weren't included on the fabric requirements. I did hear from Riley Blake Designs about that. They said that's the only error in the pattern, and if you go ahead and order yourself a half yard of both the, the, the green diamonds and the green texture, that will be enough to cover you for the rest of the sew along. So that's a, important information for you because the green diamonds is called for again in this block as it was in some of the blocks we did in month two of our sew along. So if you wanna go ahead and pull your fabric for block seven and go ahead and cut it up according to the pattern and go ahead and start piecing, I'm gonna do the same and I will come back and let you know if I come across any bumps in the road or any tips or tricks to share as I, as I go through and do it. I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, how did block seven go for you guys? Now for block seven, we are actually making four blocks. So it probably takes a little bit longer than you may have planned, but you're making four blocks for block seven. Um, and here is how they turned out. And remember, in the pattern, it will tell you that these blocks finish at 10 by 10. In actuality, that is what they will finish at in the quilt. So remember that when you measure it, after you piece them together, they'll be 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So don't be thrown off like I sometimes, sometimes am when my measurements are off. Uh, they do end up measuring 10 and a half by 10 and a half when you're done piecing them. So there are my four blocks. The only thing that I would say I came across was how to place these blocks here. If you want them symmetrical and lined up like this is lined up with this, or if you want this perpendicular with this, but then this is parallel with this. So if you have a preference about some of that, as I was going through, I thought, oh, I don't want it lined up with that. I want it to be perpendicular with that, but then it's parallel with that. So if you have a preference, that's just a note to, to pay attention to how you uh, arrange those blocks as you piece it together. Otherwise, uh, just let them go together whichever way they want. But there are the four blocks for block seven. And now we are ready to move on to block eight. Block eight has the following fabric. We have some vanilla texture again. Some, this is the yellow uh, sunshine texture fabric. This is the yellow daisy. And this is the green check. And that's what you are going to need for block eight. Now this is another bigger one as we've done in months past. We make kind of a big uh, massive block. This is the big one for this month. Um, so go ahead and cut up your fabric and get, get busy piecing it together. Have fun and I'll be back with you in a little bit. Did you finish block eight? This one was a massive block. It was so big but it was so fun to make and it made me realize how beautiful this quilt is going to be when we're all done. It's so happy and vibrant and just look at all of those beautiful colors. This is what we're gonna have when we're all done with all of these blocks, you guys. I'm super excited about it. So here is my block eight. This finishes at 20 and a half by 20 and a half inches. So don't be thrown off. Um, the pattern says 20 by 20, but that's what it will be finished in the quilt. So 20 and a half by 20 and a half. This was fun to put together. I like working on some of these big blocks. And you guys, we're kind of flying through this quilt. It's not gonna be long and we're gonna have this finished. So that's block eight. Now let's take a peek at what we need for block nine. This will be our final block for this month. And there's quite a few fabrics that we need. So to begin with, we're always gonna need our vanilla texture. 
So grab that from your uh, kit for block nine. Then we're gonna need blue shoe fly. This is the black check. This is the red diamond. This is the green floral. This is red daisy, blue diamond, and yellow shoe fly. So go ahead and pull your fabrics for block nine. This will be our final block for this month, which is actually gonna be multiple blocks. I, I can't remember how many this makes, but uh, all of this cutting that you're gonna do, it's gonna make multiple versions of this block. So get busy piecing block, blocks nine and have fun with it. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, I just finished my blocks nine. It made two of them. And all of these little X's were so fun to put together. Here's my first block. Here's my second block. Reminds me, for those of you who are also cross stitchers, these are our cross stitch X's, right? So these are the blocks that we put together for block nine. And the only thing that I would say, these went together pretty smoothly. Um, the only thing that I would say is just make sure that you're lining up your seams um, in the middle. That's the only thing. Sometimes my seams were off and I just had to go back and do it again. But otherwise, they lined up pretty well, surprisingly. So I was kind of happy about that. So have fun putting these together. I hope you've had fun putting these together. And that's it for block um, blocks nine. And that's it for month three of our sew along, you guys. We're already through with month three. Next month, we'll move on to month four and we'll just keep working our way through till we're all done with our Oh Happy Day quilt. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Happy Little Stitch Shop. Please be sure that you give us a thumbs up. Please uh, join our Happy Little Stitch Shop Facebook group called Happy Little Stitchers. And you can also head on over to Instagram and follow us there for all sorts of information and goodies there. And plus, you can also su subscribe to our Happy Little Stitch Shop newsletter. If you go to happylittlestitchshop.com, it'll prompt you to sign up for our newsletter and I share all sorts of information in there every week. So check out happylittlestitchshop.com for all of your cross stitch and quilting goodies. Thank you so much for joining me for our Oh Happy Day so Along. I hope you have fun making blocks seven through nine and I'll meet you, meet you right back here again next month. Take care everybody, happy stitching. <laughs>